Hi everyone, again, it's me, Lewis Perry, and um, I'm doing a lot of quick reviews these days, so I keep forgetting about setting it up, and I just do them on a spot, because I grab things, not planning them out, and I think I'm going to review it, because it's actually pretty decent, and maybe, I don't know if you have it in your area, but I like it, it's new for us at the moment, we probably had it before, but it's back, or whatever, and um, yeah, it's a Dana Hungry Jacks, which is actually our Burger King, same thing, but uh, I think for some reason it's different down here. I can't remember the exact details, but it's pretty much the same thing. Maybe a little slight menu change, but it's the same thing. All right. I'm watching Mum. This is what I do. I get food. I uh, have my dinner. I watch my shows. The new show by Chuck Lowe, which is Mum, season two. Chuck Lowe's a freaking genius. I wish he would write a new Naked Gun if they had to write one. I reckon get him to do it. He's fantastic. But um, I'm going to review the... It's actually... Uh, actually... It's a guacamole range, but the point is, I think you can put guacamole on any burger, but they do give it the double cheeseburger or just a cheeseburger, but I got it on a different cheeseburger, which is not shown on the menu. I mean, like, I got it on the Angry Angus burger at Hungry Jack's here, and put guacamole on that one instead of the one that actually shown on the menu, so, yeah. I've never had it with the thing before, but let's go. Alright, quick review. Holy crap, I didn't get a whole lot of the guacamole just then. But I did get a little bit, it's actually pretty good. I give it a 4 out of 5. So far, I haven't given anything a 5 out of 5 yet. If anything, I'd say I'd probably give... I'm going to have to go back and do, do some of these reviews again once I'm now getting used to reviewing stuff. Um, I'd probably give the Pop Rock thing, only because... A 5 out of 5, because it's... um, What it is, it's the... um, What's the word? The theme of it, the the, the the gimmick, it works really well. The drink's just a normal Sprite, but it worked really well. And um, for the whole gimmick, for the whole thing, the whole concoction, I would, I'd probably give that a five for the sake of it. Is it the best drink in the world? It's Sprite with pop candy. It's fantastic, but um, is it worth Harper? No. But for what it is, I'd, I'd give it a five because actually it was really good. Uh, and for the, the CC Tangy Souls, I'd give them a five because they were fantastic. I, I can't complain with them. This Angry Angus, i give a five. Separate review on the burger quickly. The Angry Angus is a 5 out of 5. It's beautiful, and I'm glad they kept it on the menu. So I'm not sure if they're going to, but they did. I love the burger. I get it all the time. It's probably my favorite burger on the menu that's not one of the originals, and it's it's awesome. Um, with the guacamole, I, I'd, st I'd still I'd give it a, a 4 out of 5 for the sake of it. Uh, it's a damn good burger, but um, yeah, it's really, really good. So I would say go down a... Your Burger King or your Hungry Japan, depending where you are. And if you have it, ask for it. And I'm not sure what's like on the other burgers right now, but the guacamole is actually pretty good. And the Angry Angus itself, that Hungry Jacks, is fantastic. That's a 5 out of 5 all day long, as Dan would say. All day! Yeah, I'm still a lot of shit from people, but enjoy it.